How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another stream. Hope you boys are having a wonderful, beautiful day. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back, boys, to another stream. Hope everybody's having a wonderful, beautiful evening. Also, I fixed my mic arm. You know what I did? I don't know why and how it... Oh, this thing is dusty. Uh, you know, I don't even know how it works. So, so there's this, like... What would you call it? Like a screw with a notch? And you gotta screw it in to tighten it? But I actually untightened it. And now it's like, it actually moves up and holds up better. I don't really understand how loosening it made it, like, made it, like, work better? It just makes no sense. How you boys all doing? Welcome back to another stream. Sorry for being a little bit late today. The duels video is going up very, very soon. How are you boys all doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. Are we getting a new patch 9.2 update here or what, dude? That's all I'm waiting for. That's all I want to see today is see if we're getting a new update on PTR. I mean, I think at this point we like when is patch 9.2 coming out, man? They've mentioned that 925 is on its way. They've been doing as much testing as they could with 9.2. There's been a lot of back and forth between the community feedback, between the players themselves, back and forth, back and forth. And now my question is, when are we getting this new update? It's if it's it's gotta it's it's gotta be soon. Like it's there's so many other games releasing in Feb, and Blizzard isn't uh, completely. So this is one thing that Blizzard does sometimes is um, I guess all video game companies really do that. Let me get the music up and running while I mentioned this. A lot of other games do this. Like uh, February, you got a lot of games releasing. Blizzard usually likes to put up something out for Feb. Either it's a new update for a game, like a patch for WoW, or maybe like a new game, which they haven't done in a while, but like a new expansion would be, or like some big content update for, I don't know, other titles. Like, this is the time to do something. And Blizzard likes to put stuff out when everybody else puts their stuff out as well. So, like, are we getting at the end of, like, beginning of March, middle of March, end of Feb, like, middle of Feb? Like, I just want to, I just want to see a date. I just want to see a date. That's all I want. Because you know why? As soon as we have a date, it helps me plan out my videos better. Because then I can figure out, okay, well, there's all... Because the, I'm going to cover everything, right? I want to cover the class changes. I want to cover all the nukes and crannies. All the details as this thing is coming out. Just to make sure... Because it, it helps a, a lot of people find that stuff helpful. I want to talk about, like, what class... Like, a lot of you guys have asked me, what class should I play for 9-2? And so far, I've been delaying giving you guys any specifics or any suggestions because it's not fair to give that kind of opinion yet because tuning could change things completely but when we actually have like a 9-2 release date i could have a i feel like a more uh i could probably say something more definitive at that point and feel pretty confident in it and so far just be holding off your thoughts on cross faction? What do you guys think of cross faction? Do you want to see cross faction or not really? That is my question to you right now. How interested are you in cross faction PvP? How are you boys all doing? We got Zakiros, we got us as Celtic, Steven, we got us as Mikolai, we got us as D Woods. How are you boys doing, man? How are you boys all doing today? Yo, let's do this real quick. Let's hop on live, see if we get another Sylvanas dagger, and we'll go back a PTR and test out more tier sets. They got a maintenance alert for February 2nd. Huh? Why is it maintenance on 2nd? Not on Tuesday. Performing Wednesday, maintenance 2nd, 10 to 11 a.m. during that 10 players. Okay. Apparently, there'll be maintenance. I don't know if we'll be getting a PTR update today. I'm hoping, though. I'm hoping servers go down and we get a new update. I think it'll be awesome. Maybe we'll get one tomorrow. Cross faction looks great. I think there's advantages to it. 9 to 5 is going to be huge and changing so much. Probably going to take, uh, take a minimum cross faction rating now. The boost, so no boosting yeah the boosting thing is also huge i feel like cross faction is what a lot of people are discussing but this like ban to boosting communities i think is gonna me and my gm were talking about it last night with one another we know it's gonna make ripples we're just not sure in which direction because it could go either way i feel like that's a much more like complex topic of boosting communities like what does this ban of boosting communities that are like organized on discord like what could it mean for the game but also, because Blizzard wasn't super, like, concrete and specific on all the little rules of that ban. Because what counts as a game community, right? What counts as a boosting community? Could a guild count as a boosting community to some extent if they're big enough? You know? Like, a lot of questions. That I feel like they need more specifics. That one is a lot more complex, though. 
I just would rather talk about faction, cross-faction stuff, because I think that could offer so much gameplay opportunity. I think it's really good. I'm excited for 9 -10. So am I! Yeah, I think 9-2 as a patch is even better because of the 0.5 update later. Like, this is gonna be part of 9-2. Dude, is Shadowlands gonna have, like, a really, really good, like, ending? Bro, it's gonna be just like Battle for Azeroth. I feel like some players like BFA end. Not everybody. I didn't do corruptions, but my guildies love that system once they added the vendor. So they thought it was a really good gearing system. Right? <laughs> so, I'm not saying they're wrong. Like, I don't want to- I don't want to say nothing, right? Everybody has their preferences, but they enjoyed it at the end. And I will tell them, like, by 9, but 8, 2, like, there was more to do in BFA. Like, people didn't like BFA, but there was at least more to do. It was more enjoyable by 8, 2. And then 8, 3 just kind of expanded on it. I mean, it was like systems land, but, you know, it was really bad. <laughs> but, 10 point out, hype to see what put that out. I'm me too. Me too. I am excited as well. Because you never really know what they'll put out. Dude, let's actually hop on live, open up our vault, see if we get another Savannah's Dagger. Welcome to a wonderful world, beautiful stream. What's up, Nikolai? I did Spice Corps from the Passion. Me too. So, Maestro, I hated it because I think it muddied PvP. Like, it allowed my class, Outlaw Rogue, <laughs> to perform in Mythic Plus, in, a in, in PvP. Because Gushing Wounds did all the damage that Blizzard just couldn't program into my spec. So, I could just play into the strength of my class, which is CC. But, yeah, this... <sighs> I didn't like it overall, like, a lot of guildies enjoyed Corruptions for the secondary stats enhancement, like, the Haze for Destro Warlocks, the Mastery for Fire Mages, hell, Mastery for Red Paladins made him pretty viable, then Hunters, like Beastmaster with Grit Mastery Haze, all those enchants for secondary stats, they like that, they like that kind of gameplay, but a lot of us, I know, played the game in a way where we had, like, Stars, we had TDs firing off, we had Gushing Wounds, you know what I mean, everybody who PvPs. So, and also every class that had to stack versatility or critical strike as your best stat, I think you missed out on the fun gameplay compared to having Haze be your best stat or a Mastery be your best stat. So I think it depends on the class that you played, honestly. I didn't like it overall, though. As an overall, I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was really gonna be really cool. And you know what my biggest problem with Corruption? I, I thought it was gonna be Kiss and a Curse mechanic. Yes, you can get all this power, but now you have to deal with the debuffs. And it felt like the level 1 debuff was nothing, level 2 debuff was nothing, level 3 debuff was a bit of a jump, and then level 4 debuff was just like a stopgap. It didn't really feel like it was threatening, it didn't feel like the debuffs were as deadly as the benefits you got out of it. And if debuffs were deadlier and more interesting, then it would really have been like a balance and act, or like making sure you don't get too powerful because you're dealing with too many like really threatened debuffs that really stifle the gameplay. But it was like, okay, level 1, nothing. Level 2, basically nothing. You could ignore it. Level 3, like, if you have a healer that can heal you, at some point in Mythic Raiding, you could literally ignore it. Or if you were a class that had easy CC like a Feral Droid, you would just, like, save your instant cast regrowth on yourself and just root it. And you would just root them. You literally didn't have to deal with them at all. You could play super, super deadly with a lot of corruptions and just root those things. They would never reach you. Sometimes you would have two of them spawning, so maybe you would root one, bash the other, maybe. Or you just mass root, you run mass root, so you root one, then you would root the other. And as long as you're spending common points, you always have a root. That's how Feral Druids were incredibly good for Mythic Pluses for last season, which is cool that they were able to do that, but like, I don't know. I just thought it could have been more interesting, it could be just more. For me, the good part of BFA was A2. Yeah, A2 was actually pretty cool, like, once they added essences. Again, like, it wasn't perfect, but like, it, there was more to do. Nazichar was awesome, the new raid was cool, Mechagon was sweet, I enjoyed it. For the most part. I feel like it was, it, maybe the game started with Essences and Azerite gear. It probably would have played a lot better. It probably would have played far better. Because you got awesome things like Lucid. You had, oh, what is it? The PvP one, which a lot of PvPers use. Like the PvP one where you gave a talent. Some classes got really cool talents. I wish a lot more classes got really good talents from theirs. Like Rogue, Rogue's got maneuverability. Like why would you give us that? It was really bad. Like for PvP it was okay. But it was nothing we could use in PvE. Like, Outlaw Rogue should have got the Thickest Thieves. That would have been amazing. Imagine that in PvE. Would have been a buff spec. <laughs> or imagine if we got, like, I don't know, Endurance Brawler for PvE. That would have been deadly good. Except we didn't have that back then. Or take your cut. Give everybody haste. That would have been awesome. Controller's King would have been kind of cool. It would have been niche. If you get CC, you get a Drone Rush. Like, take your cut Brawler would have been the go-to, though. Am I the one who liked the artifact weapon? I love the artifact weapon. I think the artifact weapon gave players the ability to either do endgame content with a group, but also you could do a lot of solo stuff and work on your artifact weapon. So I enjoyed that one. Making sure I'm an sass. Are we gonna be getting another dagger, boys? Otherwise, we're gonna be happy on PTR. Damn, Major Breath is awesome. Yeah. 
I really like to see Frost DK perform Zyde there 9 2 as out officially. Wait, uh, I'd really love to see how Frost DK performs once 9 2 is out. Yeah, me too. I want to see how well they're going to be tuned. I'm hoping they'll be good. Yeah, we didn't get anything amazing out of this. I'm still hoping to just get a four Sylvanas Dagger just for the sake of having one. That's some Jerry Bob was Legion. Dude, Legion was such a good time. My Guildies, uh, GM, he didn't enjoy Legion. Some of the other guys enjoyed Wad better than Legion. So. <laughs> I don't want to get into arguments about with them about it, chat, but you know how I felt about Wad, right? You, you know how I felt about Wad. We don't need to repeat it, right? We don't need to. She is still though, I don't know. It's like the back of my mind just starts etching as soon as I say that out loud. Dude, these two songs that we just listened to, can I listen to them again? They're actually kind of popping, dude. I kind of like them a lot. Is it just me? It's not something you would play in duel series, but they're good. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the sound. Maybe it's just the guitar or just the voice, vocals or something. I don't know what it is, man. I don't know why. Maybe it like reminds me of high school because I used to listen to this kind of stuff. Like, think like kind of Blink 182 ish, punk ish style from back in the day. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. Thoughts, Oh, the replayability. Every, you can look up the class, play the story of a class, earn your mount for that class. Every class has a story and a different experience. It was awesome. I enjoyed it. I didn't play as many alts as I did back in Legion, but there was a lot to do. Like, there was a lot to do if you're a solo player that did this pug. If you didn't have a guild, there was so much for you to do by your lonesome. That's what I really enjoyed about Legion. I said they did that really well. There was a lot to do by yourself. And for the longest time, I played without like a guild. I mean, at the beginning, I did have a guild, but they weren't really amazing for like raiding and stuff. But there was a good portion I spent by myself, just PvPing, maybe PvPing with friends, you know. But there's a lot that I did solo. And I thought it was really well done for that regard. But I probably would have enjoyed it a lot more if I did the group gameplay, because I didn't get into Mythic Plus until towards the later part of Legion when a friend of my showed me what mythic plus is showed me what hard keys are and i went from doing like struggling at 11s to doing 20s on a regular <laughs> i didn't know i would enjoy that much and at the end of legion that's where i got into mythic rating i got my cutting edge argus oh i was in dude i was hooked and here i am dude in a mythic prog progress guild we're what uh 83 on a us or something we're moving up in the world we want to get better ranking next uh next year we'll try our hardest i thought we performed really well we could do more you could do better I want to perform better. I want to do better. I've been enjoying it a lot. I like me if I'm on challenge. Really, Dragos, just wait until patch 9.2 and 9 to 5. Then compare them. I think it's not a good idea to compare expansions until the final patch. Because Legion, also, some players will tell you, didn't start super well. It started kind of like rough, a little bit like messy. The RNG legendaries were... RNG legendaries. <laughs> like you, you don't even know you had to do the you had to do everything out in the open world you had to do every single emissary every single dungeon everything just to get a chance at a lego until they had a catch-up benefits for it like catch-up mechanism so you had bad luck protection so you could actually get a lego <laughs> let alone the one you needed that was best in slot <laughs> but yeah like i think you should judge the expansion at the end of it like wad i'll judge it by the end of it I feel like Wad, even with like the 10 end jungle, the new help our Citadel raid. The raiding apparently was fantastic, but I feel like for the most part, as a solo player, you just got mission tables, really. Maybe some professional stuff, maybe some pet battles, but like, I don't really count those as a solo gameplay thing. Me personally. For some people, it's super in, super good, but like, I think it's so, super, really niche. You know? I hope that those people get content. You know, I hope at least some sort of resources get investing into that kind of thing though hey oh man i doing today oh i doing value i'm doing good man i had my coffee can you guys tell i had my coffee today so i'm chilling yesterday i didn't have coffee at all so i was trying to i was trying to have fun but i felt like i just wasn't myself man i try not to drink coffee on thursdays on saturday sundays so you know just get it out of my system so i don't just get numb to it i actually get the benefits out of it or try to do my very very best Track is all gonna be my favorite show. Let's be if I was the worst expect in history. I don't know. To me, chat, this is my personal opinion. I thought Wad was worse than BFA, but that's just me. Okay, like I'm it just that's me. But I didn't raid, so maybe if I raided in Wad, and if my, maybe I played more alts in Wad, and I had friends that I played with besides just PvP in Wad, maybe I would have enjoyed it a lot more. But I mean, it was me and Tirga. A boomkin. We, we played together all the time, dude. We had a lot of fun and we streamed. So I had a blast with the boys, but I didn't really enjoy the expansion as itself. You know? 
<laughs> that's just me though and drops best legendary and rocks back yeah for real true yeah this is why i like the shadowlands lego system like as much as shadowlands gets a lot of like flack i think just being able to get the recipe get the items get the m get the stuff grind some tour gas now that they no longer have it like a buy on a weekly basis just go in there grind out solar crack your lego bam you're done i like that system better like just being able to have control over the legendary you get i think is good or maybe in the future they should add like a vendor so you can just buy the lego with currency instead of spending gold on it you just do a bit of grinding you'll do maybe a little more grinding and then you just get what you need these are duels duels are fridays and saturdays friday for eu saturday for an a but i think this week we might just have duels over on the ptr so both regions can join in coffee's live at victory day i try not to drink too much coffee value dude i had a not a bad experiences but like i had a lot of uh guildy out oh, guildies i had a lot of friends back in college i when i did it so a lot of them hopped up on coffee some of them were just like really one guy was actually kind of nasty until he had his coffee like maybe it's just the dude was just an ass uh but that was his excuse like he's really really difficult to interact with and talk to until he has his first cup of coffee in the morning so I was like, yo, I'm just going to chill with coffee. I don't know why. Everybody drinks coffee, but I treat it like... I don't know why I'm so timid around coffee, dude. I try to keep it down to one cup a day. At most. And take breaks Thursday, Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know why I'm so timid about it, man. I don't know why. <laughs> I guess I was like... Well, this guy walking in place, I thought I was lagging for a second. So no dagger today, boys. Let's hop back on PTR, man. I want to get a key down as a monk. Why haven't we done a monk key by this point, man? What am I doing? Maybe we can get Ather to join in us. Maybe? That'd be cool. But yeah. Привет, ты где живешь? У нас в Украине 12 ночи. Гейм, я живу в Америке. Здорово, здорово, друг. Я живу в Америке, у нас что, 5.22 вечера, или как его, 12 ночи, ну у меня 5 uh, вечера, как его по-русски будет, я думаю, они используют 24 часа, sorry, a bit of Russian here, game popped in, he's like, yo, where do you live, it's like 12 a.m. in Ukraine, how are you streaming, why are you streaming at 12 a.m., I'm like, yo, it's like 5 a.m. for me, 5 p.m. for me, dog, how you doing, yeah, yeah, so, sorry about that, translating real quick, monk power, let's go, dude, 92 was way too good and some things 93 make BFA worse. I, I feel you on that, Camille. I feel ya. Yeah, everybody has their preferences, honestly. The things we're just standing in garrison every time. Yeah, I didn't so garrisons I think was a cool idea. And apparently there was a lot cut out for There was a lot cut out for WAD. Like in terms of the content. Apparently garrisons were supposed to be a like a real player housing thing. But then they cut so much meat out of it. I don't know. I think when players talk about, but what could have been so good with all this cut content if it was in, but it's like, but was it good? Like, I, I don't know. To me, I, I see it as, let's just take the cut content as it is, right? They cut a lot of content. So I'm going to judge the expansion based on the content we did get rather than the potential of what it could have been if it wasn't for this content that was cut. You know, like in the end, we got what we got. Could have been good? Sure. But we got what we got. So I don't know. I, I judge it by what I played. I judge it by what I saw. Maybe that's unfair, right? Maybe you guys have a different opinion about it. I'm totally open to hearing other opinions. Let's hop on Among Us. I really should make this thing an orc, dude. But bears are cool, but like... I gotta do something else. Hi, is the end of middle of transmission... Transmission? What? Dan? What? Transmission? Hey, what's up, Daniel? How you doing, fam? Hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day. When will see 10 out trailer? No idea, Emery. We're waiting for one. I'm excited for one, but we have no idea, honestly. Really hope the 10-0 trailer comes out soon. I don't care when releases. Just uh, release them when it's perfect, but I want to see what them uh, have in mind, you know? Yeah. I do wonder that, too. Like, what exactly are they going to do for the expansion? Is it actually going to be this, like, dragon-themed expansion? Could it be the light in the void, right? What could it be all about? How are they going to take the story of Shadowlands with the Jailer fighting against Azeroth, from what we know? Like, where's that gonna go? Yo, dude, thank you, man. Hope you haven't gone by the one my guys sent a message earlier. Hope I said something about it. <laughs> uh, what's up, Dad? What's up, Evan? How you doing, my guy? Boys, what key do you want to see me do on my monk? Should we mix it up a bit, do like Necrotic Wake? Should we do like a Tirna? Should we send him for like a Sanguine Plaguefall? Should we do a different key altogether? Because I do want to DPS and try to make the uh windwalker legendary work 
Also, do I go Necrolord? I think I go Necrolord, right? Everybody in the mother plays Necrolord, so why shouldn't I? Also, running about stuff with Great Vault. I just want to see if I got a tier set. That's all I want to know. I just want to see if it's possible to get it, because the set is you should be able to get tier sets from Vault. So I want to see you on PTR if I can get a tier set out of this. 18 HOA. 18. I think I've done a lot of HOA. Well, I guess I didn't do one yesterday, so we could do an HOA. I'll probably do like a 15 HOA, or maybe I could turn it up to 18. It all depends like what uh people in PTR want. Oh, I got a lightsaber! I've never got this on live! Oh, that's so cool! I've never got this on live! Bro, we got a lightsaber! I just wish I had this one on live servers. I hope this is my first weapon that I get from the vault. Dude, look at that thing! It looks so good! I never got this at a transmog on live. I want to get it. And I guess I'll be able to in uh 9-2. <laughs> All right, let's go swap our covenant really quick, and then we'll go make our key, and we'll list it. Asmin is on. Hey, hey, more keys? I want a DPS. We'll probably do something different if Atha wants in. If Atha wants to play too, then we'll do a different key just so we do something that we haven't done before. Sure thing. Hey, awesome. Let me. How do I invite you, Elfman? How do you type in Elfman? Uh, target. Oh, here you are. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> hey, where are you? I don't. I don't even know where you are. Are you right here? <laughs> I decided just to target to see if I can find you. <laughs> All right. Uh, back to primary. And I gotta go make sure I have. Oh wait, hold on. Uh, Legos, 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 and stuff. Uh, helm. We'll go with the haste one. We got the BDB thing. We got to make sure we get the right trinket. I don't even have good trinkets, do, you, do I? Well, actually, I do. Yeah, I actually have fantastic trinkets. Forget about that. Um, weapons. 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 I guess I just need to buy one. Maybe I should buy. Do they have crit master? They do. Where's mastery? That'll work. Nice. A little lower level, but they are going to scale anyway. It doesn't really matter. Red is better than it's red from New Zone. Darth Vader is a lightsaber. Dude, I want to get the one. Apparently, there's more of those lightsabers in Xerath Mortis that could drop from rares and chests and stuff. All right, chat. Which key do we want to do? Arthur's approved skirts. What's up, Arthur? I'll tell you, my man. New expansion cinematic 100% with Sylvanas. Bro, can Sylvanas just like uh, sit on the sidelines for a bit? Like she, the, the the lady is back, which is cool. You know how Sylvanas is like returning to her consciousness. I think it's interesting, but like, can we just... Like, Kadgar has been on the sidelines. We haven't heard about him. Can we bring him in and put Sylvanas like in a corner? Basically, we have her like, hey, I'm just going to go on like a long walk, figure out things in my mind and just be gone for like a whole expansion. <laughs> I feel like I'm okay with that. <laughs> Maybe like Strasley Sarah finally get a new model. Sylvanas is getting three models. I know, right? Yo, can we get an updated like high quality texture for you, Sarah and Alex Stra? Yo, if it's a dragon expansion, they gotta. There's no way. Caligos? I want to see that guy, what he's going to look like. Nozormu? Yo, bring him all back. Uh, give him the same treatment as, um, what's his face? Rathian got. Give him new models for the dragon. Dude, give him that Rathian dragon model. Like the dragon, it looks, dude, look at this thing. Look how good it looks. Like, you don't have to like be a fave, but that model of a dragon, bro, that looks so good. Like the face, the rings, the horns, everything, man. It's an awesome. Look at that spike in the back, too. Bro, he's awesome. Imagine riding one of these. That'd be cool. So apparently they found a lot more recolors of these on the game files a while back. So maybe Dragon Expansion? Potentially? You know what I mean? All right. Uh, What key you prefer? Want to try something new? We can't prefer Atho. We could try something different. We could do... What other dungeons do we have? I want to do a big pool dungeon. And I think DOA, D D D DOS is like the only one, the only good one. Like, honestly. And then Bud DOS. Okay, okay. I guess we'll do a... We'll do this. We will do a... Halls. 
Let's do halls. I'll craft a key real quick for halls. And then we'll list us while I go change my conduits. Uh, halls of Atonement. Uh, encrypted. And I'll buy fortified because a lot of people like testing dungeons with fortified as well. Just so things live a little longer. I mostly just try to play the encrypted affix. Because a lot of scaling in some of those dungeons is a little scurry. So I kind of take off fortified so I make it a little bit. Because, like, I mean, already doing a dungeon like at a 15, level 15. It's basically a level 18 from season 2. So it already has like weird scaling, and our gear is like scaled way down. So it's not like we could really do much to help but affect the damage output. But yeah, let me list it. Dungeons, starter group, halls. It could be Tazavesh. Which I would love to do Tazavesh, but that still has a weird scaling to it. Some of the mobs are really, really hard hitting. Plus 15. We'll just list it. Grab ourselves a cup of DPS. You guys are more than welcome to join us, by the way. We're going to be doing this on PTR. So if you're on PTR and you want to test the healer, test DPS, even if you have no experience in Mythic Pluses, but you just want to join in and have some fun, more than welcome to, man. More than welcome to. Felipe, I do my man. I'll be having a good one. I'll play Necro damage is crazy. Yeah, you kind of have to play Necro. I'm hoping they maybe buff Night Fae. Maybe buff the. No, Vente doesn't really need a buff. Maybe Kyrian. So. Or maybe those covenants would just be by themselves good for monks. We'll just have to wait and see. So, let's go for a mini. Since that one is with BDB is really good. Plus, we'll get more proxy BDB. And we'll do. Yeah, that, that. And we'll just go for full potency. Uh, do we want mobility? I think we want to do this. Probably we don't have enough renown. But it's fine. So we need Morrow Hops. I think that's what we want. But let's go and actually do this. Let's go. We have renown for free. So let's spam this button. Let's go back and pick up the conduits button. So we can go and amp up our conduits. Put it right here. I do want to make sure I get like all my many soul binds and stuff. And once we have some dudes signing up for our group, then we will uh, we'll invite them and we'll get a group together and we'll head over to halls. What's going on? Just in PTR. We're waiting on to see if maybe there's a new update for PTR. It doesn't look like PTR servers are going down in time soon, but if they do, we'll just hop on live. Wanna go Marilith? So Marilith is actually really good for single target, but when you're playing as a Windwalker in Mythic Pluses, you're mostly focused on the AoE damage. So you could be using BDB when you're popping up big cooldowns in AoE. BDB is gonna give you uh, 10 seconds of 5% um, extra agility plus 2% for every target affected. So you're looking at 9% extra agility, I think. Uh, and up to four Neobias, gain two stats. You gain 2% additional agility for each ally affected. So you're gonna be getting 9% agility. Wait, no. 13% agility. So 30% more agility during BDB for 10 seconds. Plus you get random procs at BDB too. So that could be really good. I think Marilith is generally good when you're going for pure single target with the Kevin Slime for 20 seconds. If you're doing like raiding. But I think you want to go and menu for a big AoE if that's what you're looking for. How many how much renown am I at? 71? Okay, I just gotta spam it a little more. And I gotta find the big torrent guys so I can get better conduits. So I can get the biggest BDB possible. Also, since I'm here, I do want to get enchants from a weapon, because I know I'm going to be behind on DPS if I don't. Enchants for melee end up being quite good. Especially like Celestial. I should go for like full consumables and everything. Kind of lazy chat, don't tell anybody. Marath is good. I think it's just better for a rating and PvP. It's incredible for PvP. What do we got? Sour? Yeah, get it in here, fam. Are you Ellie or Enhance? Dude, Enhance is actually so good now. I gotta play Enhance on stream, dude. We got another monk. I'm okay with that. Hey, um. Hey, yeah. Uh, I can't spell. Healer? No, gotcha. 2400 on retail? Yo, what's up? Still a little bit more now, and then we're good. As always, Death Theme Expansion. Next one is a Life Theme Expansion. I don't see people mentioning this positivity, possibility. You don't think so? Maybe. Maybe that's what's going to be the next expansion. I I think it's going to be a dragon expansion. But maybe it's going to be like the red dragon flight with like dragons of life. Then I could see it. We 
pop that, pop that. And now we should have better conduits if I do... Wait, wrong button. There we go. I think they fixed it, so it should work. Yeah. We got Gachi. So all these are amped up 84% more damage from the BDB. We got Monks doing 21,000 more Rise of Sun Kick. Or not Rise of Sun Kick, but uh, Spinning Crane Kick Dam. And then they do also 18% more to the focus one target. And let's pop uh, Expel Harm Denial for that. Uh, Fortifying Greedy. Oh, for Burgers, you heal. Yeah, shield. We'll go for Black Eye Kick has a chance to reset my rolls so we get more mobility. Now we're set. So we got a legendary where abilities have a chance to throw Bone Dust Brew at the target, which is going to activate a many soul bind with lead by example, giving you and your allies a bunch of uh, primary stats, giving you probably the most amount of primary stats in process. And and we have like the normal BDB setup where in with Codes, we're just going to spin to win at everybody. I'll try uh, now getting uh, making it 17 to us. We'll try it now. We're going to make 17. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Hell yeah. All right, let's head over to Halls. And we'll hopefully be able to get a healer soon. I could heal this dungeon, but we healed yesterday, man. I really want to try Monk. I really want to see how well I could do. I don't know like how geared Zedzera guy is, but he'll be a pretty good comparison to me. Like we'll have two monks hopefully playing the tier sets. Let me see if he is playing his tier set. He is probably, right? Likely, maybe, potentially. Hey, Dal, I've been watching your videos, but I want to tell your opinions coming back to WoW. I've been debating coming back, but there's hearing so many different things, all the vids. Yo, Fire Breath, how you doing, my man? Hey, I think if when we have a release date over for patch 9.2, I think that's about the time to come back a little bit early to maybe get a little bit of stuff situated. You know, get yourself a little bit of gear, a little bit of renown, do some of the tour gas farming before the new update. I don't think it's a bad idea at all. On my way, boys. On my way to make a summon happen. <laughs> Always sparking things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna mention, man, there's no healers. Heal pops up immediately. Hey, guys, do we need to farm actual sockets to 252? Or does it not matter next patch? It's gonna matter less, Pand. You're gonna be able to get uh, higher level conduits in the next update. So if you're looking to farm right now, like if you have time, you could. Like if you really just have a lot of time and you could spend a Corthia and you want to spend a Corthia, you could. Or you can just wait until 9-2 and not worry about it. As soon as we get a release date for 9-2, then you'll have more of an idea of like, okay, well, I know when to take a break from farming and when to begin my farming. Because there's gonna be a lot of catch-ups to the conduits. At least to 282. I mean, it helps. I guess, if you're doing maybe like endgame content now with your guild, or you're looking to push PvP right now, yeah, you should farm these conduits. But if you're just fine playing the game casually, doing a little bit of heroes, just kind of chilling, doing more of the casual stuff, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't burn yourself out early. It's how I look at it. Just, just don't do it to yourself. <laughs> All right. So Ather is here. We got Soul here. Are you a enhance? <gasps> Ellie, okay. I want to see as an elemental how are you going to play this out. Cast Earth Shack and next Earthquake does more damn. The Tears that does more damage for Lava Burst. You get Lava Surge every second. Hey, hey. Are you summoning me? Hope not. <laughs> Hope not because I'm here. So what Covenant is he? Most likely Necrolord, right? Or Night Fame? I think Night Fame would be really good for the tier set. Gas and Lava Burst extend duration of your Ellie. And you're playing the Storm Ellie. I think they fixed the Storm Ellie interaction. So you could actually have a longer Storm Ellie. This guy could pop off. At least I'm a nutty. I want to aim for 10k DPS as a tank and just gear a bit in the for stat spread. Yeah, hopefully you're not going to be squishier. Because I can't heal you. It's up to this guy to heal you. And maybe he'll be a less forgiven god than I was as a healer. I'll promote you to lead. I don't have any consumables. Unless... They're... No, I don't. Okay, we're chilling. Better have to worry about nothing. So with my tier set, I increase my damage of Fist of Fear, which I think I want to try channeling this time around. Yeah, Fist of Fury does a lot of damn now.
It took me a second to get my damage up and running for 20%. Wait, did they nerf this? After 10 offensive abilities, your next 3 offensive abilities deal additional 22 damage, but there it says 20, 10 or 20. I confused myself just now. It says 20. I don't know why. Dude, this Fury does damn. I think I want to try to see if I can line up for like a big fist of Fury. So maybe in the opener, what I'll do is I'll get my images, I'll get Zoan, and I'll just start spin to win with my images. And then I'll try to use Big Fist of Fury at the 20% damage increase. Maybe that's what I'll do. I'll BDB, Big Fist of Fury, big damage, hopefully. We'll see. I'll try my very, very best. Would you get an online... Uh, Witcher, get the new game. Maybe someone like Gwent. Do I have three weeks from 9 to... Is that true? Two weeks? Who told you three weeks? Wait, who told you three weeks? Hold on, hold on, Amir. I want to hear where you got that info. I went to him. Yeah. Do you think... DK will not will be easier to plug in on plus than now. Depends on the tuning. I think Daniel, they're looking a little like every old class are looking stronger. Um it, it's bugged for now. Once we start the key, it fixes itself. Wait, did you pop a key in? He dropped down Earth Elemental. I'm not sure if he's like means for me to start the key or what. Athman, do a timer for me. You're quick and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as Night Fate, it's a lot easier to stack that 10 abilities, 10 offensive abilities, because you can use Night Fate ability and in between expel harm, and that can reproc your Night Fate ability, which with the Covenant Lego, it can also, it can like reset itself, which is interesting. This guy has to be Kyrian, right? Has to be, because Kyrian was really fun. Uh, can I sit down and eat food while this is going? Up. If I stand still, am I eating? I'm still eating. Hell yeah. Even though there's no more table. Hell yeah. Alright, Etho. Do what you're doing best. Do your thing. I'm gonna try to get interrupts if possible. Uh, oh, kick, kick. I try to kick there. Okay. We got Big Zoen. Oh, Zara did a lot more damage than I did. Zara just popped off. Okay, so I think what I did wrong is I did not spin and crane kick every global. I think as a monk, you're actually at this point supposed to literally spin and crane kick every global. When you can. I think you want to fist if you're outside of that, though. Yeah, look at that damn. Ah. It looks like we don't have a uh, Night Fae, or not Night Fae, uh, Venthyr. Ow. Oh, Ather's just going in, dude. He's just going in. I don't care. Random BDB. Okay, there we go. I just got to spin. It's actually just more damage value just to spin constantly when you have BDB rolling. Which is kind of weird. It's just like, it makes you feel like you're not playing the class correctly because you're basically ignoring your mastery. But it's actually just better just to spin. Because a BDB just buffs the damage by so much. Which I really kind of dislike that about, uh... Shadowlands to some extent. Depending on, like, the build that you run. You just do things completely different than your class is supposed to. Am I the only one that feels that way? Oh, we got Vi instead? Okay, we got Vi. Hopefully we'll be okay. You would just start with Fist Fear on him and then kind of walk over to the Vi Interceptor. Never mind. Yo, I got all these <laughs> Healy Orbs just fly floating up top too. That's so weird. There we go, literally just spinning. It's actually just more damage that way. I'm not even paying attention to my uh, tier set, by the way. I should be doing a better job of that. Like right now I got big damage ready. 
big Fist of Fury does, or not Fist of Fury, but rather Spin Crank that does 20% more damage. Or it's supposed to be 22, but I don't know if it actually works out good. Oh, look at that Earthquake Glade thing, Wolf. Oh, that's so good. Did he have the Earth Elements or Storm Ellie with him at that time? I think he did. I want to see this guy pop off in a massive pull. Walk to your severe bugged. Well, what's what else is new? It's a monk, right? Monks, I think, are constantly perma bugged, are they not? I think that's just I just monks. I just welcome to playing monks. Welcome to monks, enjoy your bugs. Let's go for Fist of Fury. Into a big BDB. Rolling Dragon Punch. Leg sweep. Just spin and karma. Diffuse magic? That does nothing. It does, I thought it was gonna reflect it back to them. I guess I'll just take no damn. That's fine. Heal the left? Oh, why? Uh, <laughs> why did he leave? Oh, that's not good. We're gonna try to get out of here. Hmm. Okay, we'll re re Q. Why did he leave? He left because no affixes? No affix? I mean, I guess you could put her in Fortify if he wants it. Sure. I guess I could set her to Fortify. Imagine Monk with a Forge spec, uh, like a caster did spec. Uh, imagine Monk get a Forge spec like a caster. Uh, maybe. I could set uh, a Fort for it, I guess. Alrighty. Let's redo the key then. Where is that key? Key. Okay, halls. Did I, break, did I break the key? I hope I didn't. Let me run in and run out. Just to make sure I don't break the key. As soon as when the key gets a uh, grayed out, you have to like run into an instance and run out before you can even do anything with it. Alrighty, we'll just redo it. That was weird. I guess you can set it to fortified so things have more health, but they're deadlier. It's just I noticed that a lot of healers just can't even handle it. 15. Uh, I won the encrypted and fortified. Balls. I thought we were having a good time. I was actually enjoying playing Monk for a bit. I was enjoying playing like a janky version of a broken Monk. Just spinning to win. I thought we were doing okay too. Can I see like overall data? We're actually doing kind of good damn. We were doing 17k for that dungeon, dude. We were doing 17k for the instance. As soon as they just turned my brain off, it just kept spinning. I literally just stopped playing, stopped playing my playstyle, stopped playing my tier said, just turned off my brain and just kept spinning. We are doing such good damage to 17k on this guy, 15k, that key was going to be so easily done. Uh, yeah, let's grab this guy. We're going to have a very melee heavy group, but I'm okay with that. Does he want a tank? I mean, I guess, I'm pretty sure this guy wanted DPS. There you go, there you go. Now we just need a healer, but we got a group. And we got a, a Demon Hunter, so maybe this guy's Night Fae. Because I was able to play yesterday Venthyr, but I never got to play Night Fae so far. Night Warrior spec for Demon Hunter? I don't know, Night Warrior. But Demon Hunter, no, it would have to be some of demons. No, I feel like if any class should get a Night Warrior, it wouldn't be Priests. Isn't a Tyrande technically a Priestess of a Loon? You give the Night Warrior to the Priest, man. Broken class, dude. It's, it's it's kind of broken, but not in a way that's like, oh my god, overpowered so much damage. But rather, I have a play style with my mastery where I might want to make sure my abilities don't repeat, unless I play BDB monk, where I just throw my BDB and just spin every global. I just build up a bunch of resources, get my images, get my zoan, throw BDB and just spin because it actually does more damage just to keep spinning over and over than playing into my mastery rotation of jab, spin, jab, spin. You just ignore it. That's kind of it's broken, but in not, not like in a way of like, oh my god, it's overpowered. It does a lot of damage for sure, but it's broken and like you literally ignore the way you're designed to be played, which I'm not a big fan of. But I think that's only because we have Shadowlands with legendaries, tier sets, all that stuff. You know, if we didn't have any of those things, like the base toolkit for monks, he would play into the mastery. Hello, Dad. What's up, Z Wayne? How you doing, man? Image. <laughs> Destro would be broken, but maybe get a nerf. I'm dude. I want to get a Destro in our group. I want to get a Destro in our group. Maybe not on this scheme. Maybe on the next one. Like this guy, the Czar guy. He's destruction. He's playing. Yep, he's playing the right. Uh, what is it? Right Lego. This man is popping off. 
Just need a healer and we're good to go. Yo, anybody of you guys want to heal, by the way? Uh, I always weave Tiger Pump Black Eye Kick during SK Cast and it works for me. So the GCD doesn't ruin you too much. You think so? Okay, so because I was told the um I was told Jack that during BDB, like during the, the top of my burst, most damage rolling, when you have a bunch of enemies around you, just build up a bunch of uh jabs to build up shield off of targets so you could also get the spinning crane kick combo. Then use images jab get him to fix our zoen images jab get him to fix it on one guy drop bdb down and then you just spin that's what i was told by a guy who's like i don't know what guild he's in anymore but he's usually like top 100 guilds he gets those um the fame slayer achievements with his with the guilds that he is in and that's what he told me i should do maybe there's like maybe it's more nuanced now so maybe the rotation change slightly maybe it's actually better just to weave in abilities to make sure the spin and crank it gets even more value but yeah i'll try to remember it i'll do both how does that sound i'll try both yeah do those well they're pre stuff yeah yeah so maybe i'm supposed to when i'm doing big burst just spin when I'm doing like outside of big burst just jab and spin crane kick and then that's kind of how I do my rotation in between maybe I'm not that I'm not most of the times I play monk I play mistweaver <laughs> nowadays I used to play a lot of windwalker whenever I played monk which wasn't a lot compared to some other alts but when I did play monk I played a windwalker, <laughs> windwalker and then I started playing mistweaver and I love mistweaver I just found the weaving in an ability of spinning cricket does more damage for me. That's true, because you are playing into your mastery. It could be that maybe my mastery numbers are low. It's because my gear is all over the place. It's a lot of versa right now. But yeah, I agree with you, though. It, it makes complete sense. It makes absolute complete sense. I'll try both. Let's do that. Is that another? That's a demo. That's another spec I want to play is demonology, man. I want to play demo and try the doggo build. Big bite build. There it is! That's the leg I want to play! I want to play the Dread and Grim Inquisitors... What is it called? Dread Bite? Grim Inquisitors Dread Calling. That's what I want to play. I want to try to land up the biggest demon doggers, send the three of them in, they all do big dreadlash bite, have the conduit so they can rebite again as they auto, with From the Shadows, go for demonic consumption. I don't know if I would want to play Inner Demons. I think Grimoire is better generally. I think Inner Demons is better for PvP, but... Maybe Inner Demons is not that bad. For all I know. Maybe Inner Demons has a chance to summon pets that interact with the Dread Lash ability and also have a Dread Bite of their own. Hopefully we get a healer soon, boys. I guess maybe I should mention the key uh, edit and do Fort, Fort, Encrypted. Is that how you spell it? Where's the affix? In. Encrypted. 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 Yeah. I'll just put it up there. Just a healer's. I, maybe that'll make a difference for a healer or so. You know what I mean? <laughs> as soon as I put up for encrypted, I gotta sign up. Except it's a uh, <laughs> demon hunter. So if a DPS drops, I can pick him up. <laughs> but hopefully we'll get a healer soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of surprised the healers are more sticklers about, oh, can you put a fortified on that thing? Which, maybe there's a lot of healers on PTR that are, you know, do high-end keys, and they just want to get a feel for, like, what a real key will feel like. And, like, how well can they push it at a 15? But majority of the times, I've seen so many people that just put an encrypted on set, and they just gotta roll with that. Just to test the class, just to test the tier set, because of the scaling in some of these dungeons. Especially in Tezavesh. Because that place, I think they try to nerf it a little, but I think it's still like pretty overtuned. I want to go back with my guildies and do part one or part two of Tesla Bash, and maybe do some actual like bug reporting for that one. Because all we've done is mostly just testing in there with the boys. Game, please give me a healer. Don't make me heal. Because I heal. I could heal. I could heal. But I really want to try test DPS. I really just want to play DPS. Man, when you have like a third in this group, me and Ath are doing keys all the time. When you have a third that's like a healer that likes healing and is like a healer main. So then they have like me testing DPS, Atho on that prop pallet trying to push bigger numbers, trying to go for that 10k, which actually Atho was doing a good job doing, dude. He was actually reaching that 10k. Actually, Giga Chat over here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wonder if it's possible to make Necrolord work pretty well for prop pally. For DPS. Actually, we could check, like, what is a good simming... Um... What's a good sim for the Covenants? I think on hero damage we can sim it. Just for the DPS aspect of things. Prop pally. A lot of the sims website will not be able to sim for tankiness, but they will be able to sim for DPS. Apparently combinations, if you want to do like 8k DPS right now, Venthyr is really good for single target, but dungeons. Kyrian, 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 Kyrian. Okay, it's going to be Kyrian for a while, it looks like. Holy Avenger? What does it say have Holy Avenger? Wait, is, are, you, are you playing Holy Avenger, maybe? Let me look. Yeah, Holy Avenger, I feel like it's kind of troll. Maybe like Seraphim at best, but yeah. Apparently Radiant Embers is a prop pally best in Sod Lego. Or Mad Paragon for single target. Hope Necrolord Paladin will be viable. For PvP, yeah? Yeah, for PvP, it's a whole other story. For PvP, you have what? Uh, you have... You have Holy Cast, and you have Shadow Cast with a Necrolord. So if you get Entrapped on Holy, you can always get uh, Shadow Cast in. TikTok, how you doing, fam? Hope you're having a good one. Get us a healer game. Blizzard, please get us a healer. Just need one healer, boy, and we're good to go. Rat Paladin is like a tank target dummy with 28 sacks of PvP. Really? A tank target dummy with 28 sacks? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Rat Paladins are kind of scary. I wonder if they'll... I'm hoping there'll be some more tuning for PvP. I think so far we've got a bunch of systems, but we haven't got a lot of PvP tuning at all. So hopefully we'll get some sometime soon. Come on, game! PTR! We need a healer! Seriously, if you boys hang out on PTR, if you guys want to join us, we're actually in big need of a healer at this point. I just want to get some testing done. Marvel has different bits. Yo, fire enhance is so fun. It is so good. A guild of mine showed me the build and I tried it. I need more mastery in order to make it work. But it's so, it feels so good. You get like a big funnel build where you do a ton of single target damage with a bit of cleave. So you're not really doing like even Steven's AoE, but like you are doing damage. It's like the funnel that makes your single target stronger to basically give you good overall. Which is kind of crazy how good it is. And it has a lot less RNG behind it. Like it's pretty consistent. There's a bit of RNG like when you get the hot hand you can just slap back and forth. But for the most part it's like pretty good. <laughs> It's, it's a little sad with that one though, because your four piece does give you wolves, or, or wolves have a higher chance to give you, or or whenever you generate Maelstrom, I think, you gotta, ch or spend Maelstrom, I think, you have a chance against Stormkeeper, which gives you Storm Strikes, but then you're not really focusing on Storm Strikes, or either Lava Lashing. 9-1, a crit 30k, wouldn't that to be me? Yeah, for real? Yo, it's gonna be so much better next patch. There's gonna be a double Lego, so you can play for the full uh, Fire Lego to make it happen. It's really, really good. Really good. Am I really running good karma instead of Ring of Peace? I feel like I should run Ring of Peace in this guy. I don't have tomes though. I think it'll be fine. We have another monk. 70% everything like corrupted. I think so. That's huge. I'll run Fury War for PvP and PvE. Really? I like it. Yeah, I'm hoping Fury War will be another spec that will hopefully improve in the next update. Hopefully. I almost want to just heal just so we can get a key done, but I really want to win Walker one. I really want to just win Walker this one. Please, let me win Walker. <laughs> yeah, test the 9-2, it's insane, I love it. Hell yeah. It's so good. In PvE, it's going to be really good too. So hopefully that'll be like the change that Enhanced Challenge will be able to play with. I overall like the wolf build too. The like Ghost Wolf's Bones also feels incredibly good because you constantly have doggers on ya. Hmm. Though I did hear that maybe Enhancement Shamans are a little over tier in PTR. Like something about maybe their interactions with tier set or legendaries is a little stronger than it's supposed to be. 
but it feels really good. So they can maybe like, once they fix the bugs, if there is a bug that allows them to be stronger than they are, if they do tuning to like bring it back up to where they are, at least in Mythic Pluses, I'll be happy. Hello, what's up, Cloud? How you doing, my guy? Know which challenge to go for Fear Warrior? Don't know which ones? Uh, there's no Fear Warrior out here, but I think Reckless Abandon is going to be a go-to choice for the most part. Reckless Abandon is really good. Reckless is really, really good. With Reckless Abandon, you got, uh... What's it? Uh... Was there any other groups looking? Oh, there's a second Ford Encrypted. Why are there two Ford Encrypted keys? Dude, there's two Ford Encrypted keys. Me and this other guy. <laughs> I'm looking for these same keys. I think this guy probably joined this other dude. <laughs> Why are both of us looking for the same key? <laughs> We're both looking for one healer. Both. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Get out of here. Get out of here. Rakus Abandon is only for single target. Well, in PvP, you would run it. In instance, when I went to second chain harvest with the AoE Skybreaker, you think that's what you would run, but in fact, you will actually end up running Necrolord with their Lightning Bolt Lego. It gives you Giga Haste, since you can spread flame shocks pretty easily on like a five, six targets with uh, with um six targets of flame shock. You'll Lightning Bolt them all, right? And you'll gain like sixty percent more haste. That's so fast paced. You'll get Fire Novas back to back. You'll get a lot more uh, Crash Lightnings. You'll get a bunch of Lava Bird Lava Latches. It's actually better that way, just to go for Giga Haze. It is like Giga Bloodlust. It is so good. It's surprisingly good. I tried Venthyr. It's really good too, but Necrolord is actually strong. Really strong. Night Fae Enhanced for the win. That one's going to be really good too. Venthyr is going to go to Fire Belt. Yeah, I think it's going to be Night Fae Enhanced or Necrolord Enhanced. Which. I'm kind of happy that Necro Lord Enhanced it kind of became a, it's becoming a thing for the next patch. I hope it's, you know, with the tuning, it continues being a thing. But it's incredibly strong right now. It's just a lot of haste. 8 PTR did 30k to a tank. That's a lot. Uh, that's quite a bit. Yeah, we just need a healer, man. Just need a healer real quick, please. Uh, look for, Hold on. Maybe I just post in the... Uh, looking for healer for plus 15 halls. I just posted in the... Uh, Shadowlands test channel. Maybe we'll have a healer signed up. I really want to. Don't make me play healer. I would. I would heal this key if I need to. But I really want to test one walk into your set, man. Is he burst vent here? Worth last Brock. We can spam lava left for ten seconds. Low haste. Yeah, it, it actually is worth it. Yeah. Oh, we got a guy. Hey, Louis LK. How you doing? Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yo, help me summon real quick. Athor or somebody. Anybody. Real quick. Athor, no. What, what, I, 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 thought, I thought, come back. I, I, I. Oh, this guy's helping me. Oh, we got Grunt. I like his name, Grunt. Grunt. Because I played Mass Effect recently, and there's a boy you can get, a big Krogan man. It's like a big frog dude named Grunt. He's awesome. All right, we should be good to go. Uh, instance reset. Set to Mythic and everything. We have Fortified Key. All stuff is good. So, like, hopefully this healer doesn't leave. As long as we do the damn we need. I probably should have went while we were waiting on the healer and picked up a potion or two, though. But it's okay. We'll be able to get run here. Soon. Louie, what are you, disc? He's a disc! Look at this guy. Look at how build you're running for disc right now. Are you running the uh, rapid fire Lego? No, you're running just the Rapture. Okay. Are you Necrolord? Or I actually wonder what Covenant this man is. From Atha to lead. As soon as Grunt takes a port, we're good. So I want to see what talents and stuff this man's running. He's like mostly PvP build. With a haste. Also BDB. His inner strength and spiritual focus. Really? 
Spiritual focus. That's an interesting one. I think everybody's wearing Dragon Punch. Maybe even some Serenity. Every two you spend reduces the cooldown of Storm Earth and Alien Fire. Maybe the Storm Earth and Alien Storm or Storm Earth and Fire uh, dudes are probably better because you just spin, so you don't need to whirl in Dragon Punch nearly as much. So maybe that's actually better. Who knows? Hopefully this guy takes his summon. Otherwise, we gotta run back out. We actually got a group, boys. Let's go. I'm actually sur I'm surprised that the priest is not running that uh big like rapid fire machine gun penance. If I can find it real quick. Uh, so just a con- no, I need to go lead Shadowlands, Powers, Priest. Because this is a legendary Darian, and it's kind of fun, the penetrable one. Power Word Radiance has a 6% chance to cause your next penance to fire three extra bolts, so you just like, brrr, rapid fire them. I'm gonna summon him. We'll summon. For Covenant, I'm Night Fae Fury Warrior. I won the first strike in my Covenant. Yeah, it's really good. Night Fae Fury Warrior is actually pretty, pretty awesome. The damage you do, I think Sushiro tried it in PvP for the duels recently, and the damage it does is actually quite good. Like, that man's popped off. Come on, Grunt. Tell me you're on, man. Tell me you're there, my dude. Otherwise, we gotta get the, maybe, K-Man in here. Yeah, maybe we should wait for him. Just in case we need to get another guy. Do, 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 do. How you been, man? What's up, Knight? How you doing, my man? Mm. Hanging out on PTR. Daydreaming about the future upcoming faction, cross-faction gameplay in 925. Waiting as patiently as I can for the new update for patch 925 and 9.2 release date. And a 10.0 announcement and a big cinematic trailer and all that good stuff. Try to be as patient as I can, but running out of it a little by little. <laughs> this is why I just want this patch to come out, man. Yo, might have to drop Grunt and pick up somebody else. We got Fudge out here. We got these other dudes. They'll probably be down to join in. All right, sorry, Grunt. If he does, I'll give him a bit of time. If he doesn't take the summon, it gives him like two minutes to take the summon. If he doesn't take it, we'll be just picks up somebody else. Grunt was given plenty of time. I bet he might just be way AFK in Ring of Fates. Do we PTR patch this today? Sometimes. They either do it on Tuesday or Wednesday, sometimes Thursday, Alexander. So if we don't get in today, we'll likely get some tomorrow, or we'll get some way later in the night. Way later in the night. Come on, Grunt, just take the summon. Grunt, please, I like your name too. Grunt, okay. I don't know why. Sorry, Grunt. Uh, halls plus 15, fort, and fort, and corrupted. There we go. Just need a 1 DPS and we're good to go. Any of you guys want to join him? Yo, Artork, yeah, you're Frosty EK. Do you want to come in and pop off? Are you playing Night Fate? Do you want to give it a shot? You want to give it a go? Hey, yo, Dal. Hey, what's up? <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Welcome. Come on in. <laughs> come on in. We got the group ready for you. <laughs> hey, yo, Dal. Hey, move with me, dude. <laughs> what's up, man? Hey, we got this one with Ford with encrypted and everything. Alrighty, Atha. I think we're good to go. Hit up with a ready check, and I think we're going to be, uh... Let's pop off. This is the same pull we did just now. Which name is more fun for... Which spec is more fun? And better for PvP. Assassination and Feral, both are really good for PvP. And both are really fun, depending on the playstyle you're looking for. Honestly, both are good. In my humble opinion. I think Feral are going to improve massively for like PvE as well with the tier set. And Assassinations are going to be pretty deadly too. Their tier set actually does help them a little bit with AoE. Like I was able to do 11k DPS in a key, which is really good. Like I was really proud of myself. I was like, wow, there it's me. It's your boy. All right, again. Another big pull. I'm going to try to get an intro from a distance. Unless you can get the DK to get the grip. Get a grip. Or maybe that sounds will be enough. All right, we got everything. Gonna like sweep and just spin and just spin and just spin and just spin. 
And just spin. And just spin. And then spin some more. Ah, oh, we gotta get hit. And then spin some more. What is our overall just now? Oh, oh my god, the DK. Popping off. 30k, what is this guy? He's insane, dude. Oh my god. Yo, this death actually is insane. Let's try to see if we can do a big Fist of Fury, potentially huge damn. Trying to get as many jabs in as we can. Try to do some Fist of Fury. So outside of Burst, I actually do kind of okay dim. Is what I noticed. I do kind of okay. <laughs> we clean up good. Outside, but inside of Burst, I am definitely get beaten by everybody. As a Monkus. Maybe I'm just getting like good proxy BDB. Outside of Burst. Trying to maintain as much damage as I can. Uh, I should probably put a slow somewhere on my bars. Or maybe just running Dragon Punch is what's keeping me a little bit more sustained than usual. Either way. Uh, I kind of want to interrupt these guys when I can. Yeah. Okay, cool. I didn't I miss one, apparently. Uh, Diffuse magic? Let's actually just calmer them. All right, now we get the big guy. Which is a spin to win. Big spin to win. Kick. I actually did huge damage just now, boys. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Look at us popping off. I set up such a good go. And I guess I got really good BDB for a second there. Here we go. Now we got to spin again. Spin again and spin again and spin again and spin again. Touch a death him real quick. A lot of chi, back up out of there. Hell yeah. Can you check BOS? What's up, Daniel? How you doing, my guys? Is that DK uh, SOB build or POE build? Check so. Uh, I can check, I check, I check, I check. So he is a uh, Biting Cold build. So with Mortis Winter Dam. He is Obliteration with Gathering Storm, Icy Talons for, I guess, auto attacks. Which, you know, I kind of see Icy Talons just because you can get more swings. Emergency murder sufficiency. So he's trying some stuff. And for Covenant, I think he is a Necrolord. No, he is Night Fae. He is Night Fae. Hell yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, so RT is trying out the new Night Fae build. I like it. With the Night Fae, you can actually get a lot of strength build up very, very quickly with just a couple of Blitz. It is really good. You don't have to spend nearly as much time inside of the Death's Doom. So you can get your full damage buff very, very quickly. Which is why the ability is actually pretty good right now. At least it's seeming really good. And spin. And spin. And karma and spin. Spin, 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 spin. Spin, 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 spin. Oh, he's popping off. The DK. Was that like full Frostum's Fury and everything? I might have been. I'll check after that. Gonna get a heal whenever I can. Yeah. Uh, I really wish I had a really big burst for this. I'm not playing into my tier set at all. I'm not paying attention to it whatsoever. So my damage probably improve if I actually paid attention to my tier set. Because I'm not getting like the strongest abilities in my... What's it? Well, now I can actually. 22%. Oh, now everything's dead though. 
Wait, maybe, maybe, maybe. Hold on. I can maybe get a one Fist of Fury. Yeah, Fist of Fury buffed. Hey, actually got a buff Fist of Fury. Let's go. Oh, no. Walking him out of there. That's so unfortunate. Oh, this is really bad. Um, I can leg sweep him. Good, good blind there. I got nothing for this for a bit. I can't really slow them efficiently right now. Nice. Louie, we can't really uh, do anything for you. On Forge. Trying to get hit by Dark Blade if I can. Yeah, I wish I ran Ring of Peace for, the, for this part. But I didn't. Touch a death him real quick? Yeah. Now we're chilling. Now we're chilling, boys. Now we're chilling. Oh no, that's all I meant. Oh no, that's my fault. Nice, good crip. Yo, this guy's so quick in the draw. Let's go. He picked up a really good uh, death day, man. This guy pops. Wait, I'm just spinning. I'm getting procs of a uh, spinning crane kick over and over. <laughs> well, BDB is down, so I'm just getting able to spin again and again and again. I think I'm slowly picking up Monk a little bit better. Like, I'm trying to get like really valuable practice on this spec. Hold on, big whirling jacket punch on everybody, hopefully. Yeah. Hold on, maybe a big spin. Ooh, could have been a huge spin, but it's okay. And the random BDBs actually helps a ton to make this back like super giga. Okay, we got these guys as well. So they also mentioned in the next build they want to make it a little bit easier for you to be able to hit these things. Leg sweep and we run. Bail out. I don't know if the DK has a res or something. We just bail. We just run. Yeah, you're good, Athy. You're good. Hey, Darwin, do you know how which spec is going to be best for hunters? I think Marksman is looking really strong right now. Marksman has been one of the strongest specs for a while, too. So I think it's going to continue being really strong. <gasps> oh, God. No. Ah, okay, I'm dead. I really wish I ran Ring of Peace at this point. I really wish I did that. All right, let's get back in there. Get back in there and uh, kill one of the obelisks. You kind of have to jump after these things. Maybe it's because I'm Volpera. I also got to be better at letting channel the Fist of Fury channel. I want to see how much damage it does. Yeah, Ooh, Whirling Dragon Punch got that 20% more damage for it. I don't know if that 20% more damage from the tier set even works either. Chat, does the four piece even work or does it not apply to your abilities? Like, do I just ignore it for now? Well, how do you think I should handle it? Uh, I kind of want to go be a little bit of BDB and just spin. There's images here. Oh, God. Okay, we were, I thought we were just sticking down with that dot. That dot was just murdering me, man. This is why I don't like putting these things on Fortify, because sometimes the scaling is a little weird. And I felt like it was a scaling issue. Like, that scale may be a little too high of damage. <laughs> but just getting murdered by that dot. I mean, usually it hurts, but like, damn. Maybe like on a 20 plus. All right. <laughs> Thank you, no problem, my guy. Rest of the can die in PvP. That's true. Like, if they play it, like, super godly, they cannot die. That is true. That is a fact. Nice. Alrighty. We got one big spin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was a bad idea. Okay, hold on. We can get a little bit more. BDB. BDB. Spin to win. Let's try Fist of Fury with BDB. I want to see how much damage that will do. I guess we'll find out pretty pretty quickly. Run Dragon Punch? Yeah. Nice. I don't think it does much damn. It didn't do that bad. 
But I think, yeah, spinning crane kicks, I think that would have just been a better global to press every single time. Because that was, what, three casts versus 16? I don't know. Maybe if it's a few early, would have been better. Oh, God. Uh, can I get critical be res? Thank you. Yeah, I just got slammed by that guy. That's my fault. That is totally my fault. I am a monk. I forgot. I, I can't just actually have to jump up to these things to even be able to reach them. I'm trying to let this big guy spawn. Okay. Now we can do some big damn. Hopefully. Nice. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Uh, I just popped everything just to run through one of those beams. Please turn, please turn, please turn. Okay, you're not gonna turn. All right. It's gonna have to do that. Oh, Hilo, please live. Hilo, just please live. Just keep yourself alive. <laughs> Athlete is just keeps keeping him in the red. I know that Athlete is just trying to like stand still and maybe it's like a strat, a tank strat. But I feel like it just gives us so I the way that my uh guildy he just kinda kites him around, which is kinda maybe like a more newbish way of going about it. But I always find that one to be personally safer. <laughs> now they're just standing in the red. <laughs> he don't care, dude. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna die. Don't worry about me. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, okay. That that was oh god. Depending where you are when he does a spin, you could just be stuck. Okay, I got cooldowns coming up very, very soon. The DK just ran through it with Lichborn. He's like, I'm gonna heal myself. <laughs> All right. Let's go for a little bit of BDB. Big burst, maybe. Big Fist of Fury. Uh, can't really go for our big uh, World of Dragon Punch yet. Actually, maybe I can set up for World of Oh, back World of Dragon Punch. Oh, okay, okay. Yo, look at that DK single target. AK popping up with a two hander. Bro, that is so nuts. Oh, this gets me excited to play Frost DK. Chat, maybe Frost DK will be okay. Maybe they'll be alright. Hold on, I'm gonna pull that guy in as well. Okay. I tried to get a thing. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Ah. Okay, Atha is likely dead. Oh, Atha is definitely dead. Yikes. Will we just fall behind with them, maybe? Uh, melee, 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 melee. Got really low and then live with Arden Defender and then Ancient Kings. Bubbled. That was a lot of damn. 13k from Wicked Bolts. <laughs> 13k Wicked Bolts. That's actually kind of nutty. I was still doing it. I was still going in. All right. Oh, ow. Okay. I think it was a Stoneborn. We just don't have a way to stop the Stoneborn. Which, by the way, why don't we have a way to stop the Stoneborn? I guess, like, the healer just doesn't have... What covenant is the healer? That I'm thinking about it. Again, I can't reach this relics unless I literally jump up to them. Level peril life. Definitely have to be torn in the next patch. If that's gonna be the case. What covenant is this man's? Is it Kyrian? Oh, it might be Kyrian actually. Uh, some consume the thing to stack some damage ability and the other just makes it big broken. Okay, okay. So like sometimes your images will consume the stacks instead of like where you're supposed to be able to spend stacks normally. You'll just have more than one consume. Okay. I see how it is. Okay, I understand it better now. Okay, I still have a kick for this guy. It should be okay. I got a kick. Man, this DK is popping off. This guy, dude. This guy is a monster. We had nothing for him. Or I guess Ath, I think, had a kick. Maybe with a shield throw. Ah. Oh, there my jab did not consume the, the tears of proc. Is it, I, think, I think some of it is fixed, but not all of it is fixed. Yeah, I think I noticed a part where you guys said where it can consume two stacks instead of just one. Oh, clean skip. Let's go. 
I don't know. I think we need more percent technically, but we could probably pick up percent later. We're at 86, so I think we need. Actually, no, I think we are gonna be at 80. All right, let's try to see if we can punch these things, and then let's first get them. We'll pop our burst once we have like full relics and the relic boss up, and we have the ads too. We're waiting, 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 right? Waiting, waiting. Ads are up. Ads are up. Donuts bolt. Let's go for Zuen. Oh, I'm probably dead. Unless that's close enough. Close enough. Yeah, that's close enough. Yeah, that was, my burst was a little scuffed there. But we can still do a big fist of fury to the boss. It's all right. Scuffed it a little bit. I'm not sure how you're supposed to like be able to like maximize the damage out of that one as a monk. Maybe I just have to go a little bit earlier. The ass started casting before they really got a melee, so maybe I'm just supposed to go and just trust that my AOE will reach him. I just really felt like I wouldn't be able to reach him. Also, I thought Diffuse Magic works against curses as well, but it looks like it just against magic effects. So that's something to remember later. Don't have my images yet, so that kind of sucks. A brawn. Make things interesting for us just now. Knock it back. Oh, stun? Bah, spin to win. Here we go. We got a bit of procs. Just a little bit. Uh, okay. I walled this. It should be good. Yeah, I'll take a bit of damn, but it will be okay. Nice. I gotta fist fury more often. Yeah, so they're started casting a lot more, I feel like. Is that Brawn again? I might have been Brawn. Okay, we gotta Karma him just in case I'm good in a bad spot. Let's Fist of Fury and just kinda channel my Fist of Fury. Because they both the Fist of Fury with tier set. So you should be able to channel it more often to get actual value out of it. Because normally you kinda just skip Fist of Fury. Like, that's literally how you play a monk. You kind of skip the Fury. Ah, uh, I'm gonna take the M. Okay, Diffuse Magic, but I think it's just a... I think it's a bleed. Oh, it is Nature Damage. Okay, so Diffuse does help with that. Oh, God. Uh... Nice, good shields, good shields, good shields. Trying to spin to win. is dead. 20,000 hell. Get out of here. Get out of here, Echelon. Just out of here. How did we come back from, like, no damage to, like, actually have a damn? How did that happen? Because we're actually behind severely everybody else in damage. I think as everybody, as, uh, Arto dropped off. By the way, did he... So, wait, you bursted without the big dragon? Because they were topped off at the... Your 17k of Blitz critting two people? Dude, Glacial Advance does so much damn. Oh, I want to play some Frost DK now, boys. Look at that. Yo, everybody that asks, our death hit's not going to be that good. I think they have potential. I'm not going to say that they're going to be amazing because maybe these numbers are low. But this guy was top DPS until he died. He was topping it until he's dead. And I thought maybe he had a big first for him that was like, oh, maybe top damage that way. No, he just started chopping these guys, chopping these imps up. I think I have too much of mob count that we can skip Rolex. Okay. Okay, let's let's skip with a war relic. We'll just use the skip to so kill war relic first. Let's focus it, and I'm gonna kick it. Nice. So now we have the skip relic. So kill kill relic guy last plus. It's gonna get AOE'd out real hard. Like so, there's not much we can really do to help it, but we'll try to kill him last. Oh God. Try to kill that relic guy last if you can. Atho, you watch it. Watch out. Atho, please watch out. Okay, we gotta kill these things really quickly. Okay, kill and skip, 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 skip. Okay, skip. 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 Fast. 
Dude! Oh no, the healer. Uh, I don't know if we could be res the healer. I guess we just kind of started doing stuff before the healer was ready. That's not good. We can't be res him really either. Which is uh, kind of scuffed. We might be able to do this four man. I think we could four man this if Athlete does a little bit of, like off healing. And if we pop our defenses like properly. Self healing is a priority for us. Probably should focus on this guy for a bit. Yeah, self heal whenever you can, boys. Okay, Zeri is dead, so we have one less person that can really work with this. Got a defensive here. Wally, I can interrupt it maybe. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a lot of self healing. Unless we try to like literally just stand still and heal. Maybe with haste we might be able to make some work. Zeri can get be res, so self heal, self heal whenever you can. It's so, like cheese spam all the time. Be really careful with that ghosty guy. Get the ghosty guy out of here immediately. Wait, can I taunt the ghosty guys to the move faster? And the healer went offline, so we don't have no healer anymore. He just left. He just bailed. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. I think we might be able to four man it. Last guy is gonna be a pain. Actually, last guy I think might be impossible unless we do like big like Take the stuff. Okay, taunt him. He does move faster. This is good. So we can taunt these ghosties and get them over into their cages really quickly. That's really good. I got a kick there. <laughs> Healer left. Dude, what's with these healers leaving? I know that guy, like, he made him, he, he didn't go fast enough because we were like, yo, let's get the skip as soon as possible. So everybody skipped on over and the healer, I guess, was maybe like AFK in behind. Probably not a good idea to AFK at that point. I'm gonna get him to skip. Oh god, uh, self heal please. Yeah, heal, heal yourself if you gotta. Yeah, yeah. Heal yourself if you absolutely have to, if you got nothing else to do. Ooh, hard mode. Well, it's easy mode if you just move. We we have like only, I think, 10 seconds, I think, or how many? 15 seconds with the skip. So if you don't go fast enough, like you're gonna lose. As soon as you lose. Bucko? You know? You snooze, you lose. I think we might be able to four mana to some extent. Worst to worst, I'll zone out, I'll go healer, and we'll just finish it as a four mana with me healing. Worst to worst. We could try four mana the last guy. It's just with the beams, it's gonna be pretty bad. Because that's gonna be a lot of single target damage. Like, I know that Atha can uh, do something about it. Uh, just taunt him. Get him over here. Fast. There we go. The faster you get this guy over here, you the faster you can, like, Pull him into the things. If someone pulled the mobs, uh, uh, maybe maybe he tagged them. Yeah, because he was invisible. Like he shouldn't have been in combat at all. Part is gonna suck. Yeah, big AOE boys, big AOE, big AOE. All right, you guys ready? Ready? I'm just gonna start with their AOE before these guys get in your relic buffs. Uh, I actually got nothing. I guess we just have to start killing them little by little. Oh, these things are gonna hurt too. Ah, yeah, these hurt. Oh, no, they're not even like focused on me either. And they can't even like get aggro to Atho either, so that sucks. Gonna get back over there, finish what I started. I wish you had that Fist of Fury parry like you do in PvP. That'd be so good. Oh god. Try to heal myself whenever I can. Just trying to run from these things. Oh no. Just trying. Ah. <laughs> I can swap healer. I can swap healing when we finish this. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna swap healer and we'll just finish this dungeon. I'm gonna do it as a brewmaster monk. It literally doesn't matter. <laughs> do we know when season two is gonna end? We have no idea for now. We're all waiting for that uh, for that moment. We're waiting for the day. Let me swap healer and we just finish this. I had a blast with this dungeon, man. This was fun as a windwalker. I like the tier set for the damage that it does. I don't think it's like a great tier set, uh, like it's buggy, which sucks, but otherwise it's fantastic. 
And let's just go with the staff or something. Yeah. Do I have an intellect staff? I don't. Okay, so we'll just go in here and in here. And and uh and okay we'll just finish it as a healer i wanted to finish this as a windwalker but we get into the part where we need healing so i'm just gonna swap the heals we'll play with that bdb uh lego bdb mist river it's not terrible but it's not amazing either like bdb is kind of nice for healing it's kind of okay for damn sometimes but mist weaver ventier is way too good those images, they just heal for ya. They just literally do your job for ya. Uh, I guess I need to wait. Unless I have an invis bot? I do. Apparently I came prepared. <laughs> oh, now he goes! <laughs> now he gets stoned. PTR or not PTR? This is PTR, Malachi. How you doing, my boy? What level key? 15. Sitting fire DPS higher. I try not to. Hi, what's up, Crescent Saint? I'm a man! That's why I was asking about the DK. So he is not breath. Uh, he's not breath build. He is the uh, obliteration build with an auto attack setup. Oh, I can't do the skip. Wait, hold on. Maybe I can go around the corner. Uh. Huh. Okay. So I don't think I can get past the these things. Atho, uh, come res me. I'm gonna get by and die here. <laughs> I would just use my skip potion. If I didn't, I think it would have been okay. Okay, just roll in, roll in. No, no, no! Don't get, don't get in combat. There we go. Nice. Should be able to get me. Nice. We can finish it. We're finishing this key, dude. I don't care. Yo, what is floating uh, besides you? That's sick. Those things or that this thing? That's a it's a new. So remember the artifact weapon for warlocks that has like this like floating head. It's basically becoming an item in uh, like a healer offhand item or a caster offhand item in patch 9.2 from the new raid. It's buggy because there's one that's supposed to be floating normally and there's one that's kind of like attached to me like it moves with my movement. So this one's supposed to be the real one. The left one is like the fake one, basically. All right, gang, let's get in here. We get a couple of damages in. Get a bit of those damage in. We gotta get the cooldown relic, which is good. Don't wanna get hit. Big touch of death. Nice, cooldown reduction, boys. Watch out. I don't really have you guys heal. Uh, my bar is set up for healing properly. But I'll heal you guys as best as I can. Just trying to take as much damage as possible. Ooh. Oh, he got topped himself. Topped himself off. Ow. Maybe it was Athel that healed him? Because it wasn't me. Throw melee? Yeah, this is gonna suck. Statues are predictable. I guess so. You're right. They're, they're, they're predictable, but they're still gonna hit us anyway. To be honest. This st I'm still gonna get hit. All right, I'm gonna try to soak two at a time if I can, and just, just defuse. Chill it back here. Yeah, I'm gonna try to soak two if possible. There goes my defuse. We will top us. Be killing a bit. Big group heal. Let's go. We lived it. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna wall just in case. Trying to get you guys topped off as best as I can. Go for a little bit of that essence fun. Big old kick to follow. Punchy. Kicky. BDB. And that should be able to give you guys a lot more healing that way. Yeah, so BDB is not bad because it does synergize pretty well with that teachings of the monastery legendary. Which ends up working out pretty well. It's just extra bonus healing. It's extra puff of healing. Get these going. So here I'm going to have to go, I think, for Invoke GG. And I'll just try to kind of keep uh, two soaked. As best I can. Or I guess I'll try to soak these two. We're going to GG. Try to give myself a heal. Try to keep you guys topped. Here we go. I got the big AOE spinning... 
was spinning. That's his fun rolling. Bunch more kicks. Uh, Atherman got himself a heal, or got him a heal with enveloping from my bird. Nice. Watch out. Cool. Let me pop some heals. Oh, this is actually not bad as a brewmaster. I feel like brewmaster could work in keys, or uh, BDB monks could work in keys. Punch, kick, a couple more kicks, another big kick, and maybe one more big kick. No, nope, didn't get a reset, but it's all right. Kept everybody alive really easily. Everybody here dodged everything too, so they made my job easy. Thanks, boys. Nice. Cool, we finished it. <laughs> I want to see how much. Uh, so overall, my damage was. I was actually doing so well, dude. I would have done, I think, 10k. Like if we just kept going at the pace that we were going, I could have done 10k. I think. I didn't have to swap over and start healing, but I think we did pretty well. Let's go. It's easy with triple melee. Yeah, yeah you're right. It is actually really easy. Ah, the worst trinket in the world, or at least one of the worst ones. Art, you did awesome. 10k, popping off, man. You had some really good damage numbers. As a Night Fate, too. So I'm glad to see the Night Fate works. That obliterate damage is nutty. 20k max. 20k chopper. So you're swapping somebody for 20k. Another guy gets hit for 20k. That's two dudes. Or, unless it doesn't crit on the other guy. What's the best covenant for Affliction, Demonology, Warlock? I think Night Fate is still really good. I'm hoping there'll be more variety and diversity in the next patch, though. There's some opportunity to play Venthyr at times. There's some opportunity to play Necrolord in PvP. Um, I don't see anybody play Kyrian, so <laughs> for now it's Night Fame. What do the new affix do? So the new affix is, uh, let me show you. So throughout the dungeon, uh, let me read it. Enemies throughout the dungeon possess relics of the first ones. Destroy your relics to summon the first ones Atoma and gain powerful bonuses based on the order in which they were destroyed. So you get to choose which mini boss and which bonuses you get based on which relics you kill first. You guys know more keys that could test on holy. Yeah. Uh, I, well, actually, it's 642. I really want to, but it should be getting ready for the raid. So maybe I should call it quits here. Because I do have a raid later tonight. And then I should get some work done on a video, too. So maybe, yeah, I think I'll go off, sadly. Yeah. I have a raid in a, in two hours. So I better do some prep. Thank you. Be back tomorrow for more. Yo, Art, you're more than welcome to join us if you want to join tomorrow. More than welcome to. If we get a new update. Thanks down, everyone. For coming. Hell yeah. Marcel, I do my man. Hope you're having a good one. Uh, we'll be able to upgrade our current M plus gear further with the Valor Points in 92, or we'll need to get a single piece of gear again from scratch. Our current gear, like if you're looking at getting our current pieces upgraded, you will not be able to expand the current gear. You'll need to get like the gear in the season three in order to upgrade it to higher. If that's what you're asking. Yo. What's the best? Uh, let me catch up with the chat for a bit because we got like 20 more minutes. I like hanging out with you boys. Was it double the healer's HP? Did it really? That guy? Yeah, dude, you were actually popping off. Like that guy was doing fine. He just kind of rage quit at the. He was carrying, okay. He just kind of rage quit at the end. He was like, we're doing skip. And then he kind of was a little late. We four man that boss. We could have just rezzed him. But he just kind of died. And he was like, I guess like flipped his table. Unplugged his, <laughs> unplugged himself out of the internet. And just kind of bailed out. I was like, come on, just just stick around. Be patient for five seconds. So you missed the war where, uh, what is this a war relic? I think it's a war relic now. So you missed the war relic. So what? Like, we'll, we'll, we'll come back for you. We could four man this. You're gonna stream the raid? Yeah, we, of course. We're gonna stream the raid, get it done. I think we're gonna do like a really quick one. We're gonna do a Terra Gru. Uh, Guardian, I think. Unless nobody needs Guardian. I think we might just do Terra Gru, KT, Sylvanas, and just bow out of here. So we might have a really, really, uh, like a really short stream. So yeah, that's what's like what we'll be doing. I spent 10 plus runs and item pieces and I had Master and Haze together and such, not again. Yeah. You have to do it again. Let me see if, uh, because I do have some pieces of older gear. I want to just to check, just to make sure I can check for you. Can these be upgraded past beyond like what you th what you say? Let me just look. So we have some pieces from this current season. So I guess you can upgrade those to 246, but you'll probably want to start using the new pieces of 239. Wait, 
that's also 246. So what is in the new ones? Is this it? No, it's not. Okay, what, do I have any gear from this new season? Is this it? No, either. Also no. I don't think I have any new gear from this season on this guy, do I? I don't think I do. Wait, this thing. That's new. Yeah, so if you want to get it to a higher level. But then again, if you've TN done, it's going to give you 255 item level anyway. So you're going to be starting with a higher item level. And then you'll be able to upgrade it. But it still does require a 2k rating at least in order to be able to upgrade it during Season 3. So it says 2k instead of 2500, which is what you'll need for the next KSM. I want to see a Blitz Shine X patch. Rodrigo, hopefully. We, we're going to cross our fingers. Hopefully Blizzard tunes it right. It might. If Blizzard tunes it right, it might. Just between 4 and non 4 key is massive. Yeah, there's a big difference for sure. The amount of damage you take and the amount of damage you have to do to kill the mobs. Yeah, definitely is there a difference. Definitely. I think we're just start doing this as fortified. I think healers like a bit of a challenge. Without Ford, I can solo heal myself. Ford needs some help from a heal. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a bit of a different story. Which is why I kind of like non Ford keys. Because you can just pull a bunch and really just pop off. Because mobs become more trained dummies. And it's a perfect playground for you to test your tier set. And the double Lego combos. With Ford, you're adding a bit of a challenge. It's fine. If that's what you're looking for. More like a realistic situation. I don't know. I kind of just have fun hitting train dummies though. Unless it like matters. Like fortified and all the other affixes for like rating and score and trying to max up my main. Sure. Like testing out tier sets. Like I can hit train dummies or I can hit like moving train dummies with interrupts. So it's like train dummies with mechanics. But they're not super scary. Although they still have enough health. They just live long enough. It helps me get like a bit of an idea of what my class is like. Although, yesterday we did do a key on a demon hunter, and we did have a warlock just burn these mobs with rain of fire so fast. Maybe if I put a four in those things, maybe I could have actually seen just the raw damage output potential of um, the, 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 what is the word? The sinful brand, Venthyr Demon Hunter. Once I, Venthyr, once I leap onto my target, Venthyr Sinful Brand gets applied to everybody, I eye him with a fell dev Lego on him, extending it, and then I continue trying to make sure prolong it as much as I can, basically up to 100% uptime on those guys. So if we had a mobs more fortified, they could have lived longer, maybe I could have seen more value out of it. But I think it's going to be impossible to ramp it up compared to a Warlock who's already got Rain of Fire rolled. Because once you get Rain of Fire rolled, once it gives him more procs of Rain of Fire, which gives him more resources for Rain of Fire, and then it just kind of just spam one button and just dominating. It is hilariously good, though. Yeah. <laughs> Have a new patch comes out? Yeah. Well, much that, again, like, at least... Uh... It's going to be a new opportunity for us to re -gear ourselves. Plus, with the tier sets, I think our stats might even change. So look at it that way. Getting your tier sets again, that's going to be fun, right? And I know it's like you have to re-grind your gear, but you're getting your tier sets. And maybe they got to find a way to fix that so you can have gear from all the raids, old expansions. That still has the relevance of the new stuff. But like the item level that goes up, I mean, I don't know. I, 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 used, I get where, you, where you're coming from. I do th I don't really know what else they could do instead of just like regrinding your gear. Right? The seasonal stuff, giving everybody opportunity to start fresh. This allows players that are just jumping into this season for patch 9.2 to feel like they're on equal ground because everybody is having to regrind gear. No one feels like they have an advantage ahead of each other. Like the Raiders and Mythic Plus guys from last season have some advantage because they're not like starting at like super giga high item level, but at least they're starting with like the equivalence of the new raid normal item level. So it's like a slight advantage, but there's still quite a grind to go, you know, to the new Mythic item level. You know? Those item levels are not going to make it easy for themselves. Is it going to be a best uh, uh, be a best for M plus 2? Yeah, true, 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 true. Yeah, tier sets I think are going to be. There's no way. Like a lot of them are DPS increase. It's huge. It's huge. And Darwin, I hit 49k Frostbolt in Arena. I've missed the specs so much. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Worthless. It should be a lot better in 9-2. I'm excited for how well it's going to perform in 9-2. <laughs> with with mobs that do less DPS despite mobs having a higher health, our uh, X M plus healer with the rest of Druid with Hots was great for me to focus on doing DPS. They played Knife and Druid and Boomy Affy for a big burst. Yeah. Did this still full moon? Can this still full moon when they're in resto and the Knife burst? Can this still drop a moon? 
I don't think it's big enough challenge. Is it worth getting it now before or after the patch? I say, Kim, once we have an idea, um, like 915 is a fantastic patch. Like if you were playing Shadowlands, 915 is a fantastic catch up patch. There's so much good stuff the Blizzard has done for the current patch in order to get back in. However, with 92 on the horizon, I think it's best to wait until we have a release date for 92. Then resubbing maybe like a week or maybe two, depends how hardcore you want to go before the patch and catching up with some of the basic stuff like making sure you get enough soul lash for the new patch making sure you get some renown you know get your character set up figure out what you want to play get yourself in a guild or something right get yourself situated in the game <laughs> is that atha <laughs> the tiniest elf man over here beaming me <laughs> with an apexus soul shard focusing shard <laughs> gonna make a clock it's like a ticking clock. We just wait until patch 9.2 is out. <laughs> so tiny, dude. Look how small he is. <laughs> Look how small he is. What the? <laughs> it's so good. It is so good. I think he's like a world shrink or world enlarger. Whole body shrinker. Yeah. Imagine with Cross Faction Group. Yeah. Cross Faction Group and there'll be a whole nother thing, man. A Nova Perry joint groups. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's what I would do, Kim. Once we have a release date, maybe resub in like a week or two before and get caught up a little bit. Because a lot there's going to be even more catch ups than I too. But. <laughs> Discussing about being discriminated racism. What? Volperas and gnomes, man. Talk about the two things that people want to punt off a cliff. This is not <laughs> we punt everybody off a cliff. Volperas and gnomes. But this cross faction thing, man, I'm excited for. I think it's going to be really good for the end game of the game. Hopefully, it doesn't dilute like the whole like idea of Horde and Alliance, and hopefully, it give players more opportunity to play whatever faction they really want to play. Hopefully, we'll see even more variety of different class combinations and racials that players can use in all kinds of content. I think it's good. Furries by the Horde and knows being well, punching bags for everyone. True, true. <laughs> all right, gang. I'm gonna call it here, 652. Normally I like to have a full two hour stream, but we end up getting a key done and there's not enough time for me to get another key rolling. Just because I have a raid. We are gonna be streaming the raid. I think again, just gonna be a quick one. Get in there, slam Sylvanas out of the way. Hopefully collect a dagger for uh, one of the guildies who's a rogue. Um, or just get disappointed yet again. And then get out of there quickly. And then I gotta work on a video tonight. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do for a video, honestly. Maybe I should talk about a... Oh, hopefully... What the? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Where'd you go? <laughs> Where'd you get this Darkwood Fair thing? <laughs> Where'd you get... Where'd you get that? I don't know you could get a cannon from Darkwood Fair. I kind of want it now. <laughs> Anyway, gang, thanks so much for coming by. Appreciate you. Hopefully tonight we'll get maybe a PTR update. Cannon, cannon, Darkman cannon. Let yourself far into the distance. Oh, that'd be fun to play with. I want to get that now. Maybe, maybe I can pick it up at some point. Great to reach forbidden areas. Oh yeah, I imagine. Like if you don't have like a heroic leap or a grapple hook or Venthyr on find disabled. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably pretty cool. I gotta get that. That's, oh, that's so awesome because there's even more exploration and stuff. But yeah, gang, thanks so much for coming by, guys. Appreciate you so much for chilling with me. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys either tonight for the raid or tomorrow for yet another stream. Probably more PTR stuff. Hopefully we'll get either an update for 9.2 stuff. Either tonight or tomorrow. Yeah, thank you, boys. Appreciate all of you. You guys are wonderful, beautiful. Maybe I'll see you tonight, yeah? If I do, again, we'll be doing raiding. Uh, yeah, I'm really hoping we get an update tonight, dude. I'm really hoping we get a PTR update. I'm really hoping either we get an update or a release date. Because you know what I want to do? I want to, for the longest time, I wanted to make a video like, when could we be getting patch 9.2 PTR? And I'm afraid that if I make that video for tomorrow morning, what if tomorrow morning I make the video, when could 9.2 release? And then later that evening, we get an announcement for 9.2. 
because then it'll be I'll feel silly because one day I'll be like, when is 9-2 coming out? And the next day, well, now we know when 9-2 is coming out. I feel like that'll be so lame. That's not the first time that has happened to me before. I think it's happened for 8-3 and 8-2. Uh, uh, both of them actually literally I was like when could this patch be coming out and the next day we got the release and I felt so silly because I felt like man that's not a video man <laughs> damn alrighty gang thank you again I'm talking too much I'll see you guys at the start tomorrow peace